Hey guys, what's up? This is Rai123 here, and today we are doing a remaster tutorial for the welcome screen GUI. And here is an example on the screen right now. I've been really wanting to redo this one for a while, not only just to make it better, but also because I wanted to split up the loading screen and welcome screen GUIs into two different tutorials because last time I didn't quite do the loading screen part justice so this time we will be focusing on just a welcome screen and we will do a loading screen next time so as you can see here I've got my generic welcome screen you can make yours look a lot nicer whatever you want but basically I just have a screen GUI with a frame and different elements let me zoom in on the on the Explorer window so you can see. So yes, as you can see here, I have the I have a text button and two text labels, the title and the text and then the text button. And then within the text button, I just have a simple close script which is just script well, it's script.parent.mouseButton1 down connect so that gets the mouse button one down event and then creates the function that just destroys it it just completely removes it now if we were to play this right now and jump into the game and we close this it destroys it it's no longer in our play or anything and we were to reset like if we were to reset our character this GUI would actually reappear because it is in our starter GUI. Now to fix this you're going to want to go ahead and make a script in workspace. I recommend renaming it to something other than script. I'm going to call it welcome, sorry I'm typing with one hand, <laughs> GUI. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the script. So as you can he see here, here's our script in workspace. Just a quick reminder, if you don't remember how, to insert a script into workspace, just right click on workspace, go to insert object, and go to script, which is right here, and click on it, and it will insert a script for you, open it up, and it will say the generic hello world. Now back to this script. Here we have the child added event firing for the player service which basically means every time a player is added to the game and it stores that player in this variable, this player lowercase variable. Then we just get a new variable to store a clone of this screen GUI and then we just make we just put it in the player GUI and this event is only fired when a player joins the game not every time they respawn so this will cause for it not the GUI not popping back up every time the player respawns so just to show you that this works after I have my script set up like this oops I am just going to take my screen GUI and I am going to put it inside of the script. Let me zoom in on the Explorer so you can see that better. So the structure, just so you know, is the script, the GUI, and then you can have the GUI look however you want, but this is just how I did it. I prefer to group things in frames. but. For, this, for our script to work, we need a screen GUI inside of the script. And then when you play test your game, you will get the message. And then if I hit escape and I reset my character and I die, now you will see that I no longer have the welcome message pop up. It will only be given to each player as they join the game and as you can see over here since we cloned it it's still there it will still go to every player but that is pretty much it for this tutorial guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed let me guys excuse me let me know if you guys like this whole remastered tutorial thing i'm trying to explain them in a simpler way 
Hopefully we can get a lot more people understanding and a lot less broken scripts. I will be posting this, both the scripts for the close button and the, the script itself to give it the GUI to the player in the video description. And for that, don't forget to hit the like button for the effort put into this video just to show you appreciate it. Please post a comment down below with any suggestions you may have. I've kind of been having a lack for suggestions lately, so please don't hesitate to ask. And please feel free to hit that subscribe button for future content. I'd love to keep making videos for you guys. And that's pretty much all I have to say today. So have a good day. Bye.